I think Disney's very conscious of a certain kind of ownership over fairy tales, even though we're dealing with, with public domain characters. But when you think of Cinderella, you think, you think of Disney. And I think it took both courage, but also a lot of smarts to, for Disney to say to themselves, we ought to be the company that uh, continues to own the fairy tales, but finds a way to retell those fairy tales in a very contemporary way. So to take the idea of fairy tales and to retell them in 1987 with a contemporary ending and then to have, as Rob said, in a post-9-11, post-Columbine, post-hacking world that we live in, as Stephen Sondheim said, where there's always a giant in the world, and to tell, use fairy tales to reflect our lives in an entertaining way but in a very profound way is, first of all, genius. It is reflective of the world we live in. It is wonderfully entertaining, thanks to Rob and this glorious group of actors and designers. And I think Disney was, was the first to recognize that. And so it was a wonderful journey. And the word you keep hearing up here, and I think you feel it, is joy. Because all of us, I think, felt like we've worked really hard in our careers to get the opportunity to actually make a film based on a James Lapine and Stephen Sondheim work. And for that, we thank Disney very much from the bottom of our hearts.